In this video, we're going to talk about how to put a loops track into a GarageBand project. Loops tracks are like uh, riffs or beats that you'd lay down underneath a track. You can also use them as uh, a music bed for a voiceover project. To get to the loops in GarageBand, you come down to the bottom right corner, and typically this middle button is the one that's selected. You just move over to the left one button, and you'll see that it even looks like a loop. You click on that loop icon, and here you have a whole different, a whole probably dozens of different uh, loops that you can use. So if I click percussion, and then I come down, I can see a list. Again, dozens of options in there. Now a lot of these buttons gray out when you select one. And that means that there's several loops that cross over in categories. So this might be a percussion a world beat. If you select both of those, that tells you that there's a percussion world beat and you can say that you want it to be cheerful. And now you've got all of them narrowed down just like a database of different loops. And these are all of them that you can choose from that fit into those categories. Now if you have several selected and you, dot, and you decide that you want to deselect them, you can hit reset. If you only want to deselect one of them, like I don't want it to be cheerful, I can click on cheerful and it will add that back in. There's acoustic or single or dry. I don't want dry. Let's go back to cheerful. Uh, dry and cheerful in that case. Um, here we go. So now we've got all of these selected and here's our different uh, loops that it gives us. It tells us how many beats they last. So here we have 8 beats, 16 beats. I'm going to click on one of these loops and drag it up. And I'll drop it in and now I can hear what that sounds like. If I click on this headphone, actually let's drag it all the way over to the beginning of the project. If I click on this little headphone icon that I mentioned in earlier videos, then I can hear just that loop by itself. Okay, so there we go. We have this nice little 8-beat loop that comes in there. If I want a different one that's a little bit more spunky, I can click Reset and then choose one that's a drum kit. And we'll choose a fairly short one. Let's go to one that's only four beats, this exotic beat. And we can drop that one in there. Now as I listen to it, okay, that's a nice beat and it also demonstrates better what a loop can do. If I place my mouse at the end of a loop, up in the upper right corner of that uh, track, you'll see that my um, mouse icon also turns into a little loop. If I click and hold and drag, it will extend that loop out for as long as I want it to go. And I can make this as short or as long as I want it to be. So let's have it end at the end of my voice track there. So there we go. Now we've got a loops track. We have the electric guitar lead that we placed into the music bed. And then we have the some more music that we placed in there with a music track. And we have our voiceover. If I come back to the very beginning and click play. Hello, this is Adam. And this is yeah, it's a mess. It sounds terrible, but you understand how to put it all together. If you want to see how we got to this point, make sure and look at one of our earlier tutorial videos. We have a whole series of videos for this project that teach us, teach you how to use GarageBand in this way.